2019 Newberry Park took the title home. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Like this is just like a crazy experience. I mean, just like all four years we've been like leading up and just like I mean like hearing like not our name is like just like, just, like, just like that was just like the culmination of like just four years of like just believing and like being dedicated to the cause and like all the little things we've done. And just like avoiding the cookies two days before, and just like <laughs> everything just like led up to that moment. A lot of hard work through the whole season. What's what, what's some of the Sorry, oh, take, take me through your week here at the Nike World Headquarters, just hanging out with some of the pro athletes. All just, just take me through. How was that? I mean, like, I feel like last year it was a lot more like we were kind of like getting sucked into the hype, and we were just like, "Yo, we're here, we made it." And um, I think this year it was more like um, it was still all really incredible. We didn't expect to see maroon and pink in the, in the lockers, but it was still like a really cool surprise. But um, then it was really nice to just like kind of like hang out around Nike headquarters. It was like it's an experience only like 400 some athletes get to experience every year, and it's just like now that we're here, like we were focused on like going for the national championship. I think we were like kind of like forgot to realize like how blessed we are to like, be able to experience this. And, like it's still like truly amazing. Of course, yesterday beautiful. You said you said you loved it. Overnight the rain said no. Yeah. How, how was it for you? I mean, like yesterday, I said it's like a mini golf course. Like, what's up? And, uh, <laughs> but um, today, the mud, like, it was it was interesting. I mean, it was like kind of unexpected on the line. But um, I mean, in my mind, it's just like everyone else is going through the same stuff, and you just gotta tough it out. It's like who has the most heart when, you, uh, when you're going through three inches of mud. So last year, well, before the state meeting in, in track and field, you guys were coaches already talking about possibly of winning this right here. I know you guys work really, really hard. You guys sacrifice. Yeah. How does it feel to actually go ahead and do it? Yeah. You know, right here on the, big, on the biggest stage, and you guys come out and win it, yeah. and so close against a big rival. Yeah, I mean, I was telling my guys before the race, like, my freshman year, there was a dream. There was a dream of... We can get seventh at CIF finals and we can go to state. Sophomore year, there was a dream that we could win state. It didn't happen our sophomore year. We didn't actually make the state meet, but it happened junior year. I said, hey, let's go to NXN. Let's get top five. I mean, we got top, we got six last year, and I said, this year, we had a dream. We had a dream to win NXN. And I said, I believe in it. The question is, do you guys? And we know what it takes, so are you going to commit to it? So. I, they all committed, they all went in, and we left everything out there on the course. So we put, we just like pushed everything into that mud, came out on time. You mentioned yesterday your goal was top five, which blew my mind because this field is so loaded, and yet you were mixing it up. And you know, I think you, you realize just how tough it is for everybody, and they realized who you were. How was the experience for you during the race? How competitive was it out there? How, how grueling was it? 
Um, yeah, I think it was like, it was really kind of like a surreal experience because I think it was interesting how they did it this year where all the individuals were mostly in white jerseys. So from a team perspective, I saw a lot of white around me. I'm like, okay, this is good. We're doing good. <laughs> but individually, I was like, there, I mean, for my individual goals of being top 10, I saw, I kind of saw it slipping from me at like two miles. And I just said like, I'm gonna hold my position for the guys. Like this is, this is for all the guys behind me that are doing their job. And so like with a K to go, it was just like, it was actually kind of funny. There was a, a guy in a white jersey and green shorts. I'm not sure who he was, but he said, come on Lance, man, let's keep pushing one more K. Wow. I said, I'm here for you, man. Cool. Yeah, cool we're competing cool. with each other. Yeah. No, again, when you set those goals so high yesterday, I'm like, wow, this is awesome. That's yeah. what it takes. And you guys kept on. Shoot for the stars, land yeah, on the moon. Definitely, definitely. It was great to see. Great job, Jason. Yeah, thank you.